neurocysticercosis uh, is an infection in the brain because um, the human has ingested the eggs of the uh, solium, tenia solium. So these eggs would hatch in the small intestine and the larva travel through the bloodstream. Okay, so imagine here it travels to the bloodstream and then from the bloodstream, these larvae sometimes would lodge in the subarachnoid spaces. Some of them will also um, enter um, the small um, arteries like the lenticular straight arteries and lodge here in the basal ganglia. Some of them would travel here and go to the um, smaller branches of the cortical arteries and lodge here mostly in the uh, gray-white matter junction. Okay, These regions of the gray-white matter junction as well as in the area of the basal ganglia are the areas they lodge because similar to metastasis, areas of um, abrupt change in caliber of the blood vessels are the areas where metastasis and infectious agents would like to lodge. Okay? In addition, there is greater vascular supply to the basal ganglia and cerebral hemispheres. Hence, for our first reference here, this one, the parenchyma is the most common type or area in which um, neurocysticercosis would um, develop. Okay, the other areas are subarachnoid, intraventricular, and um, mixed type. Okay, for our second reference here, the subarachnoid space is the most common site. Okay, followed by the brain parenchyma and ventricles. And these are the fourth, more than the third, and then the lateral ventricles. Okay, so because, um, the organisms can lodge here in the subarachnoid space. You may sometimes see um, this cystic foci lodge in the supracellar cistern. You get enhancement, you get meningeal irritation, hence enhancement in this region. And this is called the race most type of um, neurocysticercosis. Okay, now what's interesting here is that what we see on imaging for example this one see structure and then you see here a dot in the periphery and this dot we know is the scolex um, this cystic structure in the periphery is actually a part of the worm itself it is the form of the worm in its life cycle in which it's called a bladder worm okay it has this cystic fossa here creating this um, cystic structure on our imaging okay mm, okay now for the four stages okay we know that there are four pathologic stages and this can uh, can become a bit confusing during the exam so these are the vesicular colloidal vesicular granular nodular and nodular calcified okay let's start off with thinking that this is actually a story in which um, initially the larva was um, the worm is still quiet it becomes it dies and becomes vicious for the ves colloidal vesicular then um, the body is now winning in granular nodular because there is less edema and finally the body wins there is no more edema and in place of its of the lesions we get scattered calcified foci okay so let's start here first with the first one v4 vesicular in this stage okay it's the it's um the silent bug stage or bug okay in this stage the patient is as usually asymptomatic there is little to no edema in the periphery okay it's the silent bug stage Again, we can see the scolex within the cyst, but there is no appreciable um, enhancement. Next, after being silent, the bug will now create commotion. It is now dying and it will not die without a vengeance. It will create commotion and that commotion is our mnemonic for the edema. There will be greater edema in the, uh, there will be now edema in the periphery. Okay, because the cyst will degenerate, 
the capsule will thicken and this is the point when edema is maximum um, because the cyst because this organism is dying the in this one the part of the cyst will become turbid or proteinaceous hence you can see t1 hyper intense um, signal okay after this one so this is the stage the second stage is going to be the stage in which the much of the action would happen after which the, the body will already win so in the third stage which is called the granular nodular okay there will be regression of enhancement and then regression of the edema okay and calcification would begin our mnemonic for this is generate apologies apology means is our mnemonic for cyst retraction and the edema would be subsiding already okay and then lastly body wins there's already conversion of the cyst into a, a calcified a scattered calcified foci okay so silent bugs create commotion or generate apologies for calcium okay so here are the summary of the stages imaging findings and presentation according to our first reference here if we compare it to our second reference okay um, it's actually the same vesicular stage in which you have visible a uh, viable larva and you can see cyst and scolex appearance dying larva in the second one it's dying and it will not go down without a fight or uh, without vengeance and will create inflammation and edema granular nodular the body is healing cyst involutes edema diminishes and finally the body has healed okay you just have a quiescent fibro calcified nodule